Hi, I'm happy to see you all again in this class. And today we are going to discuss the first lesson in the English textbook. Trees in the forest. Trees, the word means peace. That means peace in the forest. What was that peace? That's what we are going to discuss in this class. And unlike other stories, the one we are going to discuss today is a real thrilling story which had happened in the life of the author. The author of the story is Fritz Winken, a German. He was not a professional story writer. He was a bakery man. He just had shared his incident which happened in his life when he was 12. And that's what we are going to see in this story, what that incident was. Let's start. The characters of this story are Fritz Winken. He was the narrator, he was the first person in this story and he was 12. Fritz's mother, she was the main character of the story. She was a caring mother. Jim, stocky, which means broad, dark hair, the color of his hair is dark, soldier. Robin, tall, slender, which means slim, soldier. Harry, wounded soldier. These three were American soldiers and German corporal age 23 Haynes age 16 Willie age 16 both were from same place Cologne Cologne is a city in Germany these three were German soldiers there were American soldiers and German soldiers in this story it's gonna be a thrilling one and initially I have told you that it's a true story which happened in the life of the author. It all happened in the Christmas Eve. That means a day before Christmas. 24 December 1944. It was during the Second World War. This incident has happened during the Second World War. And during the Second World War, there was the Battle of Bulge. Battle of Bulge. It was between Americans and Germans. It all happened near the german bulgian border. In the Hjurgen Forest. In the Hjurgen Forest. Which was only 4 miles away from Manschau. Manschau was a town in Germany. And the scenario, I told you it all happened in the Christmas Eve, that is December 24, 1944. The author and his mother were living in a small house in the Hugen Forest. The other name of Hugen Forest is Ardennes Forest, which was 4 miles away from Manshaw. It happened during the winter season. The temperature in Germany was below freezing point. The author and his mother were living in a small cottage in the Hjordgen forest. It was a lonely house. No other houses were near to them. They were living alone in that place. Why have they moved there? Their house in the ocean was completely destroyed. So his father, Fritz Winken's father, sent them to the Hjurgen forest to live safely. He was ordered into the civil defense fire guard in the border town of Manshaw, which was four miles away from the Hjurgen forest. So that's why he sent his wife and Fritz Winken to the Hjurgen forest, the lonely house in the Hjurgen forest so that nobody could find them. They would be safe out there, he thought. Exactly nine days before Christmas, the field marshal, 
German field marshal von Rundstedt thought that they would lose the war, so he made a final offensive attack. The author was able to hear bombings here and there outside of his house. At night, planes were flying above their cottage. The soldiers were using the searchlights to find the enemies. Thousands of soldiers, Germans as well as the Americans, dying nearby them. They were really scared in that cottage. And at the eve of the Christmas, December 24, 1944, at night, they heard a door knock. When they heard the first knock at the door, the author's mother was scared and just blew out the candles so that they could move away from their cottage, she thought. But the author was walking towards the door to check who it was. Before he reaches the door, the author's mother, she came forward and opened the door. There stood two persons. Both were covered in snow and they were armed. They had guns in their hands and they had armored jackets. They were soldiers. And one more person was lying in the snow. It was not two, it was three soldiers. One of the two soldiers who were standing was speaking to author's mother in an unknown language. The language he was using was not known to the author as well as his mother. They were just pointing out to the third person who was lying in the snow. The author's mother realized that the third person was heavily wounded. And also she realized that they were Americans, enemies. Americans were the enemies of Germans at that time. The author's mother was really scared. She was motionless. She was not moving. She just placed her hand on the author. They were armed. They had guns in their hand. So they could easily shot them dead. But they didn't do like that. And finally, the author's mother said, Come train. Which means, come in. The two soldiers, they carried the wounded person inside the home. The author's mother called out the author and said, The two person's fingers were frozen. So bring a bucket of snow. She asked him to bring a bucket of snow so that she could use the snow to rub their feet. It could heal them quickly, she thought. And they explained to the author's mother that they were American soldiers and they lost their squad and were searching in this forest for the past three days hiding from the Germans. If they were found by the Germans, they could be killed so that they were hiding in from the Germans and was searching the American squad and finally ended up in the author's house and they introduced them one was Jim Stocky Dark Earth Soldier and another was Robin Tall Slender Soldier and the third one was Harry Wounded Soldier he was heavily wounded and then they took off their jackets even without their armors, they were looking like big boys. They hadn't shaved. They had beards. Jim and Robin placed Harry in the author's bed. And his face was white as snow. He was really looking like frozen. And now the author's mother called out the author another time and said, Go to Herman and drink. Six potatoes. Who was that Herman? Herman was not a person. Herman was the rooster they had in their house. They were fattening that rooster for nearly weeks, hoping that his father would come at the Christmas day so that they could have a feast with him. But now, immediately, the author's mother had to prepare a meal for them. So now she is going to 
cook the true stone. Jim and the author were helping in cooking. Robin was taking care of Harry, the wounded soldier. Harry had a bullet in his upper leg and he had almost bled to death. He was bleeding. So the author's mother took a bed sheet and tore it and strapped it in that wound which stopped bleeding. The smell of roast chicken was spread in the whole room. The author was setting the table for the meal. And during that time, they heard another knock. The author went to open the door to find out uh, more Americans. The author was expecting that more Americans have come today. So he went and opened the door. There were four soldiers. But these soldiers were different for him. The uniforms of those soldiers were quite familiar to the author. They were not Americans. They were Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht which means German soldiers. The author was completely paralyzed with fear. Because he knew that sheltering an enemy is against the law. The punishment for that is death. The author and his mother were completely paralyzed and were scared in fear looking at those four German soldiers. And what had happened next? Let us see it in the next class. Thank you for watching this video.